let's talk about how to start a beer glass collection. I recently did a Instagram live about glassware uh, and why it was important to have glassware and why with beer glassware we have different styles. After that Instagram live, I was asked the question, but how do I start a beer glass collection? So today I'm going to tell you how I started my beer glass collection and how you can start yours as well. When you first start drinking craft beer, any glass will do. The reason we put beer in a glass is so that we can see it because we also drink with our eyes. The colour, the clarity, the head and the carbonation are also really important when we are discovering what a beer tastes like. Any glass that you have at home will do. Uh, a wine glass would be perfect. You can also use any kind of tumbler as long as it is clean. Uh, there is a way to get a glass beer clean. And if you look in the video description, there's a link to my podcast episode about that. When I started tasting beer, I used a nonic pint. That is that very classic looking British pint glass with the bubble at the top or any straight sided glass. But as you will discover as we go through this video, there are different glasses that work well with different beer styles. Looking back, I started my proper beer glass collection with a branded beer glass. My first glass was a Sam Adams Boston Lager glass like this one. Uh, this was specially designed by Sam Adams for their beer. They took two years to design it with a glass designer. The shape is designed so that you hold it at the bottom, putting the least amount of heat on the beer. Uh, it bubbles out at the top to open up the aromas and flavours and it has a row of beading at the top that captures the head to keep those aromas in. It's also nucleated at the bottom which allows the carbonation to stream straight up through your beer and release all those lovely aromas and flavours. I bought this glass because Sam Adams was the beer that got me into beer so it was an important glass to me. When you are starting your beer glass collection, you may want to look at breweries that you really enjoy. They undoubtedly have branded glassware and they will have picked glasses that they think go really well with their beers. So it's a good place to start. You may also end up with branded glassware from festivals. This is my newest beer glass from Brew London. I find that the ones from festivals can sometimes have too much printed on the outside which makes it difficult to see the beer but they are fun to have. Sometimes they're not all the best shape either, this is a straight sided one so it's not the best for beer tasting but they are fun to have in your glass collection. If you want to build your beer glass collection quickly one place to start is buying sets. If you look in places like TK Maxx or on Amazon search for craft beer glass collection and you will find sets of glasses that are supposed to be for a wide range of beers. You generally get glasses that are for a lager, a wheat, a stout and an IPA. As a base for glassware and for correct shapes that will start you off really well. My personal recommendations for a beer glass collection would be to have a all-rounder and then look at beer glasses that go with the styles that you enjoy. A good all-rounder glass is a Teku. It is a stemmed beer glass, so you're not putting heat on the beer. Uh, it is a, a wide shape, so it opens up the aromas and flavors, and it's got a nice shape at the top that captures the head. They also have a nice sturdy base, so you can't knock it over too easily. A Teku is a great all-rounder glass for any beers that you are tasting. I would also recommend if you like darker beers to invest in a snifter glass. They're a bold shape like a brandy glass, again opening up those aromas and flavours which in darker beers are really important. Having one each of those in your collection will mean that you have something to cover most bases. A lot of breweries are enjoying the Allegra Tumbler as their branded items. This is 
a good all-rounder glass. Um, they are not my favorite, however, because they have no stem and you're gonna be putting the heat of your hands on your beer directly. If you're drinking lighter beers, you're gonna warm them up quickly, but you can have any kind of beer in this glass. I offer also invested in taster glasses. I like a slightly smaller glass, again with a stem, so that I can taste a range of beers in one sitting and then I only have to have a small amount. You may want to have um, a flight set of these, so three or four, so that you can try several beers. And then it's good for sharing beers with friends because you can share out the beer between you if you have several sets. Choosing beer glassware that is appropriate to your beer is also really important. If you prefer a lager beer, finding maybe a Pilsner glass or um, a glass tankard may be better for that beer style. If you like a wheat beer, then you would like want to invest in a vase so that captures the lovely wheat head on the beer. Have a look up to see what beer glassware is appropriate for your favorite style and invest in some of those for your collection. Starting a beer glass collection is a lot of fun. It does take up a lot of room, so be aware that it is addictive and you will start to take over your house with various different glasses. Um, look for a wide range of different shaped glasses. I also like to invest in interestingly shaped glasses um, because then you have something for every style that you could possibly try. Your beer glass collection will grow as your love of beer grows. So pick beer glasses that you love, but be prepared at some point you're gonna break one and then it'll break your heart. I have several blog posts on the Love Beer Learning blog about different beer glasses that you could add to your beer glass collection. Click on the link in the description below to check those out. If you have any questions about beer glassware, hop on over to Instagram and let me know so I can answer them for you.